It's been a while since I did a video. Look, I had a touch of a head cold and uh, some other previous engagements that came up and unfortunately that all held me up and I didn't get a chance to uh, do some videos in a while. But we're back and not with one, but with two brand new whiskeys to the market. Let's drink some whiskey. Welcome to Whiskey and Whiskey on the Whiskey Chaser. Brian here in Christie's Bar, Kilkenny. I hope you're keeping well. So we are obviously very much back um, and not with one whiskey today, as you can see. We have two whiskeys, two brand new whiskeys for the show and for you to try. I would have had this video done sooner, but um, like I said, a bit of a head cold held me back and you know, nosing whiskeys and taking notes when you have a head cold is pointless, obviously. Drinking hot whiskeys is grand though. With that said, let's get back into the video. Uh, these are two brand new releases from Velvet Cap Irish Whiskey, a five-year-old Bordeaux wine single malt and a non-age statement peated sherry cask finished single malt. We've been down this road before. I did a video on the Velvet Cap triple cask blended whiskey very long time ago. I actually think it was probably one of the first videos I did on the channel. And in that video, I went into all the info on the distillery and the brand. I will leave a link up here if you want to find out more. You can pretty much get that whiskey everywhere now. So Velvet Cap from Ballyduff and Waterford. Main distillery is Blackwater Distillery. We've heard of them. They're producing some excellent gins, um, releasing some source whiskies. And this Velvet Cap brand, right, is part of their sourced semi-premium value-based side of things while we await their very own distillate, which will or should hopefully be coming very soon. Make sure you're subscribed. Hint, hint. Uh, it's been a while since they followed up on their first release from the Velvet Cap. Um, you know, I had a chance, luckily, to try this at Whiskey Live this year. Um, I got to try both of these whiskeys. The gaffer, the man in charge, Peter Mulrine, he's wrote a book, it's a great book, I recommended it before. Um, he's an around, all around whiskey kind of legend, loves his whiskey, loves value, not into screwing people over, all around nice guy, and just wants to bring out exceptional whiskeys at a very fair price. Now, you can see that from the last few whiskeys they've released, not only the Velvet Cap whiskeys, but they also have another brand, Puka whiskeys. Um, I think it's available in Australia and available here. I had that on the show. They produce those for Aldi exclusively, uh, Aldi shopping stores here in Ireland and Australia, I believe. Now, this is the first single malt that we've seen from the Velvet Cap brand. I know the, they had the Retronaut, which I also reviewed on the channel, which was a 17-year-old single malt they released a while back. But this is the first from the Velvet Cap lineup and two stompers to have in the range. Now, so far this year, you're looking at 2,000 bottles of each on Irish soil only. But moving forward, this is to be part of the core range and will obviously be a wider offering, continual released, et cetera, et cetera. So the whiskeys themselves, right? First up is the five-year-old Bordeaux wine single malt. Now this is not Bordeaux wine finished. This is a five-year full-term Bordeaux wine cask maturation. It is Great Northern Distillery and has an ABV of 40%, slightly on the low side of what I like to see and where it's at, but I will explain more in a minute. Next up, a non-age state, non -age statement peated single malt. Again, Great Northern Distillery. Again, 40% ABV. This has been finished in a sherry cask. I don't have the details for how long in sherry or the rough age statement or even the phenol content or PPM uh, of the peat. Sorry for the peated lovers, I just wasn't given that info. Um, look, all that matters is the, is the taste, right? Right? The labeling is quite good too, great feel to it. Now, both of these whiskeys can be found online for in between 55 and 60 euro and found via Blackwater's uh, very own website uh, down at the bottom. I'll leave a link. Enough chat, let's drink. Now, I'm going to pour the Bordeaux one first and leave the peated one for a moment because the phenols and the peat kind of Overloads the senses, we pour. Just a daub. Right, so again, uh, five-year-old Bordeaux wine, full-term maturation in the Bordeaux, 40% ABV, Great Northern Distilled, Blackwater released, and between 55 and 60 euros. Off the top of my head, 
there isn't that many whiskies I can think of around this age statement that's been full term in a fortified wine cask or a wine cask in general. If you know of any, by all means, please enlighten me, leave a comment down below and let me know. So I'm gonna leave the P to one for a moment. Let's do the notes on this bad boy. So I've given this a moment to kind of uh, breathe a bit. The first thing that comes to my nose is a very lush kind of berry note, quite juicy, quite uh, wine influence here, obviously. Bit of that kind of grape flesh going on. Comes across as, as, as you know, quite sweet. This is, this is all at the fore. This is all the first nosing or two. So if we peel back the layers then, we're getting into it a little bit, uh, ever so slightly, we get those kind of malty notes. So you're looking at the orchard fruits, which say apples and pears always stands out to me. That's great Northern Distillery coming through there. Their single malts are exceptional. Peel it back a little bit more now. We're kind of really, really getting into it here. Uh, you know, and again, I'm being super critical for the sake of the video. There is a grainy note at the very back of what comes across as a slight hint of youth and alcohol. There's even to my nose, a touch of very slight hint of menthol mentholiness at the, at the back. But again, it's not in your face. You leave this, you start to agitate it. You're going to get a lot more of those juicy kind of notes again. Super critical for the sake of the video. Menthol note is coming through more, funny. That's weird. Yeah, so you're getting that grainy note is still kind of there, the little bit of youth is showing, but uh, first it's just full on juicy berries, wine influence, grape skin, berry notes, apples and pears. All right, let's have a little sup, let's launch it. Your grape notes are coming out more obvious here. Very sweet, forward. Nice amount of the orchard fruits there on the palate. So you're getting apples, pears, grape skin, wine influence. Um, a hit of that grain and a touch of youth, but not overpowering. Not as thin as you might expect from this type of age statement. The berry sweetness and juicy orchard fruits are kind of nice together. One more little sup, slaunch it. Yeah, a little bit of that youthfulness coming through, a little bit of vanilla hit at there at the end. It doesn't drink like a 40% ABV, folks. It doesn't drink like a 40% ABV. A little bit drying on the palate. Lingers a little bit. Touch of bitterness there, finish. Um, it's drawn out. So, that's the single malt, the five-year-old Bordeaux. And now, I'm just gonna get a glass of water and we're going to try the, um, the peated one, right? So, the peated, peated sherry cask. This has, uh, this has been finished in a sherry cask for a, a, a period of time, I'm not sure exactly. 40% ABV, in between the 55, 60. Uh, literally, that's all the info I have on it. If you watch any of my older videos on peated whiskeys, you know where I stand on peat in itself. To my peated fans, I might not do this justice and I apologize in advance. I'll do my best on the notes here. All right, let's get into it. So straight away, this is one for the peated fans. And I'm, I'm not talking a smoky here, smoky notes. This is full on peat, full on peat. Borderline medicinal, quite nice. Um, the peat is very much in your face. Like I said, borderline medicinal, but just at that point where it's not medicinal, if that makes sense. The sherry note is definitely coming through here and kind of rounding off the edges nicely, uh, rounds out the nose um, quite nicely. I don't drink an awful lot of peat, so for me, it's quite nice actually. Um, the In the background then, after you get those, those the peat and the sherry rounded out, you're getting your orchard fruits from the malt. Um, kind of what sticks out the most is green apple, and it's there, trust me. After a minute, yeah, when you kind of nose it a little bit more, that peat subsides a bit, um, to me anyway, and uh, more of those kind of apple and almondy notes are kind of the nuttiness kind of coming through a bit more. This is unique, unique for me. 
it does open up wonderfully. All right, let's have a little sup. So launcher. Pete forward, obviously, what comes across is even a touch of char, right? Your multi notes are there, but they're not in your face. A little bit buttery, kind of tanniny kind of note to it. Um, Yeah, those orchard fruits aren't coming through as much as I would kind of hope they were, that, or as much as they were on the nose. Very subtle sherry influence on the palate. Very. I'm not really subtle, it's not good. Not overly sweet. Sherry notes very subtle there, if any. Uh, maybe a touch of nuttiness, if anything. Um, that would be about it. For me, the peat overpowers that roundedness that I said at the start that I got a nice peat, sherry, roundedness nose that is kind of not there with the palate to me anyway. Um, struggling to pull a bit of, the, bit of the, the sherry on the palate. Finish, touch of bitterness, nearly a medicinal note, um, not so much malt or sherry coming through here. Um, and that, tut, that, that nuttiness is kind of gone a little bit as well. Might sound insane, but um, there's almost a touch of menthol here. There's two that I, and I didn't, I obviously drank a bit of these, but I didn't, I, I didn't get the menthol in this one till this morning. I got the menthol in this before when I sampled it, all right. But um, yeah, that's what I'm getting. So where do I stand on these two whiskeys? Well, first off, we're looking at, you know, whiskeys from Velvet Cap that are looking to break into the mid premium category here in Ireland. I mean, to me, that's, obvious with the pricing on what's on offer. Both these whiskeys are very good, very good whiskeys. Anything I'm saying notes wise is being super critical and really pulling it apart. So know that first. I think personally these two whiskeys have a lot more to offer in terms of character and flavor profile than a lot of the other whiskeys I've had on the channel in this price range, which there is a lot of. Not all of them, but I mean, look, it's gonna hard, it's gonna be hard to beat a 10 year old Bushmills for 35 euros. Let's just face that. It's just a different breed. But in terms of what this is and where it stands, I think these have a lot to offer whiskey drinkers. Are they perfect? No. Are they different? Absolutely. And do they have character? Yes. Um, I should mention these whiskeys were given, me, given to me by the whiskey fairy, Dan at uh, Velvet Cap. So thank you for that. Uh, these bottles, lads, I appreciate that. But all thoughts are definitely my own and I'm not influenced by any outside parties. In saying that, would I buy a bottle? Yes, I would, but just the one. And I think once it was gone, once it was gone, I'd say that would be, I don't think I would buy again. However, I would recommend you try a dram if you haven't bought one or were on the fence. I think the Bordeaux wine five-year-old has a lot to offer people looking for a big flavor profile at an okay price point. Peter fans, I haven't a clue would you like the Peter one. I didn't mind it myself, but I don't drink a lot of Peter whiskey. So try it and see. Leave a comment below. Let me know your thoughts if you've tried it. All right, that's enough for me. Thanks again to Dan and the team at Blackwater for the whiskeys. Cheers to Chrissy's for the backdrop here, as always, absolute legends. And uh, they will have these. So if you're out and about, stop in and try them. Let me know what your comments are below, if you've tried them. So that's it, I'm out. Enough whiskey and shite talk for this week. Keep it Irish and chat soon. Sláinte.